you are watching this video means you own an iphone and are tired of testing different methods to transfer files between your iphone and windows pc lucky for you we found a fantastic solution where you can instantly import or export any file from your iphone to your windows pc first of all it doesn't require any data cable and you don't have to install any third-party application all you need is to connect both your pc and iphone to the same wi-fi network and follow some simple steps it doesn't matter if your network has an internet connection or not sounds interesting then watch this video to the end to find out how okay so the first thing we'll have to do here is to create a new user account a local account so all you have to do is to go over to here in the search bar you open it up and you search for a uh, control panel from here so from here i'm just going to go ahead and click on change account type and from here i'm just going to go ahead and click on this option here to create a new user in pc settings and they're going to bring us to this part here so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on add someone else to, to this pc okay it's going to load up and just in case if you don't have internet just try to do it offline okay so i'm just going to go ahead and click on this and then it's going to load up the next page and i'm going to well, choose this option add a user without a microsoft account so from here they're going to ask me what's the name i'm just going to set the name as um trans transfer then for the password i'm just going to keep it simple okay and the password and the security question we have to make sure we we um you know answer those also because there there are other ways you can create an account here and they won't be asking you this um security option but that's another way around this whole thing okay so now we're done with this and just have to click on next all right so we're all set for a new user so i can just go ahead uh, to check it from here i'm going to go back and come back right in so you can see this is our um, local account okay uh, this is just our local account i'm just going to go ahead and minimize this and right from my desktop screen you can just go ahead and go to um right you have to right click and uh, go here that says new and you create a new folder in my case this is my new folder here and i renamed that to transfer it's a capital letter okay so after you've created your folder you have to go into this folder you right click go to the properties here in properties we have to go over to here that says sharing uh, from here that says share we go ahead we click it and from here we have to choose the new uh, user account that we just created which is our transfer then i will add it and then i have to make sure this is going to be able to read and write so i can write data to my computer and vice versa i'm going to leave it there okay i'm just going to click on share then done then after that i have to go over to the advanced sharing from here i'm going to click on you I, it's going to be like this uh the initial stage i'm just going to go check this box um sharing name just leave it on transfer okay so from here that says about permission i'm just going to click on that i have to add i'm just going to go ahead and add something and from here i'm just going to put on put on the name transfer then i will click on check names so as you can see it did it, it uh, actually discovered a user that has uh, this name so i'm just going to click on ok so from here right now i'm going to grant this um this uh, username full control and go ahead and hit on apply and ok and from here i'm going to hit on apply and then ok click on close okay after all all this um, uh, has been done there's uh, this very important step where you should be able to locate your um, your network um, um ip address so all you have to do is to uh, go to the search your search bar and then you have to uh, search for network status okay here in network status 
you have to click on um, properties so now in, uh, in properties you have to make sure your network profile is on private okay and then when you scroll down I'm not going to scroll down right now but when you scroll down you you will see a section that says IPv4 address then you have to copy that address and keep it safe all right so let's move over to the next step which is uh, transferring the file okay uh, so from here you can see uh, on I'm in my iPhone right now all you have to do is to go over to your file application and then from here you have to go ahead and click on the on the three dots that has a circle at the top right corner and from here you can click on connect to server and from here i'm just going to uh, paste in my ip address once i'm done imputing my ip address i'll click on connect and i'm going to be sent straight to this page okay so right now we're going to use registered user and for the name i'm just going to make use of that username which is transfer and if you try to go ahead and click on next you might be getting this error okay so if you are getting this error even after the second method i'll show you right now i'm going to uh, link a video uh you can just click it at the top of this video or go to the description and check out that video but for now i'm just going to click on ok and i'm just going to go ahead and impute the password okay so this is the password this one and i'm just going to click on confirm and as you can see automatically we are already inside that folder all right so from from my uh, from my system right now uh this is the this is the exact folder once i right click on it and open it you can see that there is nothing absolutely nothing in this uh, in this place here all right so as you can see now this is the uh the folder the transfer so i can actually just go ahead copy uh, any file let's say from from the downloads okay i'm just going to go ahead and just uh, copy this this file here and then i'm just going to go ahead back to that folder and i'm just going to paste this here and as you can see once i paste it there automatically here on my phone here on my phone once i open the, that file the folder actually this is the the image and vice versa if i go ahead and you know copy this file here and then paste it okay i want to paste i'm just going to hold on my screen and paste it now i am duplicating this file as you can see on my uh, on my on my system it automatically just uh, created a second a duplicate so guys this is everything you need to know okay hope this really helped you and if it did sell me something if this video actually helped you drop a comment in the comment section subscribe to the channel to support my channel and also give this video a thumbs up see you guys in the next one and peace out